This man right here is my great grandfather. He's the first cat herder in our family. Herding cats. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy. Anybody can herd cattle. Holding together 10,000 half wild short hairs. Well, that's another thing altogether. Being a cat herder is probably about the toughest thing I think I've ever done. I got this one this morning, right here. And if you look at his face, it's it just ripped to shreds, you know? You see the movies, you, you hear the stories, it's... I'm living a dream. Not everyone can do what we do. <laughs> I wouldn't do nothing else. It ain't an easy job, but when you bring a herd into town and you ain't lost a one of them, ain't a feeling like it in the world. Hi folks, John Cordisco back again with another great chess video for you. This is a good game from round three of the World Chess Team Championship currently being played in Turkey. This is the Armenia versus the United States. And on board one, of course, you have Levin Aronian, Armenia, number two rated player in the world. And as black, my buddy, Carl Nakamura, rated 2791. Carl's number four in the world now. I'm real proud of him. I think this is next year, year and a half, two years, and Carl's going to make his move. Anyway, folks, this is round three. Aronian's white. Carl is black. It's going to be a... Queen's Gambit declined. We'll go through the opening. Knight c3, h6. I'm not much of a d4 player myself. I probably should because I try to avoid the Sicilian like the plague. I just don't like playing against the Sicilian for some reason. Bishop, castles. I've got my Fritz 13 computer running off screen. And he shows a tiny advantage for white, usually this early in the opening. Having the first move is an advantage. E3. Now this dark squared bishop is outside the pawn chain. He's going to make some room for his light squared bishop. Knight to E4. Bishop takes, queen takes. Rook C1. I thought that was interesting how he's going to use the rook to guard the, the knight. C6 in Slav type fashion. Bishop D3, knight takes. Now, computer likes rook takes. I probably would have played B takes, which is the second choice, but close. Aronian decided to play rook takes. And I have no doubt they're well in the, th in the theory still. D takes and rook takes. That really surprised me as well. I thought for sure bishop would take. In fact, by a tiny fraction. It likes bishop take a little bit better the computer. Rook takes, knight d7. I just don't like that rook on c4 for the simple reason it becomes a target. Castles, e5. Bishop c2. Knight b6, he's hitting the rook. Kind of getting a tempo because he needs to move that knight to get the light squared bishop out. Rook c5. And with that bishop on c2, that certainly cuts down the squares of the rook for white. E takes. Queen of d3. Threatening mate, of course. G6 to stop that. Bishop to b3. Now the threat, of course, is queen takes. And he can't take because of the pin on the f pawn. King moves up. Queen takes check. I think White got what he wanted. He weakens Black's pawns around his king a little bit. Got Queen to a nice centralized square. Queen blocks. Rook to e5. It's about a third of a pawn advantage for White. I think Carl's doing very well here. Uh, being black against the Ronin of all people on move 19, and you're basically even. And Carl's doing well. Bishop d7, finally get the bishop out. h4 comes white. Try to bust up the pawns on the king side, being a little bit weakened with that g6, h6 moves. Here and here, kind of weakened it a little. Rook a to d8. 
simply get your rook behind your bishop to threaten a discovered attack on the queen. H5. This is where Aronian's trying to bust up. Black's pawns around his king. F5, which I thought was interesting. Queen to C3. Backs off the queen because it's just it's going to be too much of a target there. Plus the bishop moved to attack it, but that queen's got to go there to defend the rook. The knight can't defend it only. That's why I didn't like those rook moves earlier with the rook out there. It's just too hard to defend it. Actually, it shows it as dead even on the computer, but I think it's easier to play for black. Bishop g4, hitting the pawn and the knight. H takes. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Knight to d5, hitting the queen. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. I still think white, or excuse me, black is okay here. I don't like the isolated pawns for black, but this is a Carl. He knows what he's doing. He can defend him. I think he's just looking to draw at this point. After C takes D4, excuse me, D5, G takes, and a Carl goes D4. I think that was a goof on his part. Before that move, he was just about close to drawn. A tiny, minute advantage for white. After d4, it jumps up to over a point, and a, almost a point and a quarter, point and a third. That was the first mistake by Carl in the game so far, in my opinion. I think he should have went rook to c8, hitting the queen. Then after rook, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes, f takes, king takes. That's basically drawn. I think that would have worked out a little better for Carl than it would happen. After he went d4. E takes, rook takes, d5. It's going to be a little tougher now for Caro, I think. Queen f3, excuse me, takes f3. Queen takes, rook takes. White's up a pawn. I think a Caro still has a good chance to draw this. It's only a little bit over a point in score. Rook to d1. A Caro moves his king over. Rook to d4 by Aronian. Rook to e8. Rook takes, king takes. I think this is very drawable right now. The computer shows it as maybe two-thirds of a pawn advantage of that. Uh, we all know Akaro is master at rook and pawn endings. Well, so is Aronian, but Akaro is known for his great rook and pawn ending play. King to g2, hitting the rook. Rook goes to f5, put pressure on the d-pawn. f4 by Aronian. King d7, bring the king up. King f3, king d6. Kind of in a way, you use your king as a black gator. King e4, bring your kings right up. We know Rook and Pawn and these kings are very strong pieces. Uh, I've seen studies where the rook is worth five and the king is worth four just behind the rook in end games. So bring your king up and let him sit. It's like being a piece down if you don't. Rook to f8. Rook d2. They're just maneuvering around now, but it's a little easier to play for white, of course. h5. f5. Here come the pawns. h4. Rook h2 to go after the pawn. Rook e8 check. King f4. And rook h8, and that's where Carl stumbles. It's maybe a third of a pawn advantage before rook to h8. And after rook to h8, it jumps to almost four points, which we know is resignable, especially in a rook pawn ending. I think what a Carl should have done instead is king takes, rook takes, rook e2, rook h3, rook takes, rook checks, king c5, f6. That would have been tough, but I think a Carl could have drawn that. But instead he went rook to h8, and of course it ends quickly. f6, rook to e8, and he plays rook takes h4. And this is where a Carl 
number one rated player in the United States, number four in the world, resigns. He goofed on move 39. I'm not sure if there was a time problem. You see that quite often, where somebody will goof on move 39 or 40 if 40 is the time control. And it happens. Uh, I think he was more disappointed about letting his team down than losing the game, frankly. Because Carl's a great, got great, he's a great team player. And in fact, this uh, issue of Chess Life I just received, a Carl gives a lot of praise to Gata Kamsky. That Gata is not really appreciated like he should be in the United States. And uh, considering these guys are so competitive, that was very, very gracious of a Carl. I'll take my hat off to him. He loves to play for the USA. He likes to win, but he likes when his team wins. Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Just want you all to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. And I hope to see all of you in my future videos. And I want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. No. <laughs> no, no, para. ¿Qué pasa? Se nos dio, mira, estamos solos. Vos me querés, yo te quiero. Está todo. Mira. No me enfoques ahora, dale. ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué están haciendo? Hola. Ay, nada, ¿Y vos qué tenés hablando? ahí? ¿Eh? Chicle. Ah.